Hello, here's one bonus video on one question. This one is very interesting because it has appeared many times in past years, at least three times. Oh, and 12, I think 19 also got a few times. Okay, so it's just about the pictures. So let's see monochromatic light, single color, at a diffraction grating, which diagram shows all the possible directions of light after passing through the grating. They give maximum intensity. So maximum intensity, is, you're referring to your maxima or where constructive uh, interference occurs. So there'll be a line, okay? Zip, 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 zip. I don't know. Whatever it is, if you shine a laser in, a, let's say, a concert, lah, you put fog machine, you fog up the whole place, and you shine a laser through diffraction grating, you will see it spread out. That's how they do their effects. All right? So yes, your waves will spread out. And also, because there's many waves spreading out, you have what you call your direction or rays of light, which are perpendicular to your wave fronts. Also, and it's also the points where constructive interference occur because there's many, 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 many wavelets all interfering inside there. So let's see, which one is the most suitable? I mean, they all look correct, right? They're all spreading out. So let's look at A. A could be correct, but it's kind of missing the zero order. Probably shouldn't have a zero order. Then you have your first order and first order and then so on and so forth. So ah, uh, something's missing. So probably missing this, so not A. B looks pretty good. Okay, C also looks pretty good. Hey, they look almost the same. D, yes, you have your zero order, but it's pretty narrow. Your angles are pretty small. That is reminding me of Young's double slit. So there's probably another few ones here. Okay, angles won't be so small, just clump in the middle. So no, probably not that. Okay, so B and C. We are stuck with B and C. They look almost the same. Can you see any difference between B and C? The hint is, look at the angles between the arrows. Between your first order, second order, maxima. This one here, the angles are almost the same. So right here. Ta-da! Looks the same unless my eye got a problem. Almost the same. And B, the angles are smaller. I guess the first order angle is big and then the second order angle is smaller okay how do we know which is which well you can look at the formula n lambda equals to d sine theta we're looking at the same light source right so this n is a constant uh d is a constant because we're not changing grating same grating same spacing lambda eh, sorry not n is constant lambda is constant yes same light okay so what's changing there so n, okay, you're going from n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 0. Okay, you're chain increasing your n. So your theta or sine theta will also have to increase at the same uh, rate or same ratio because n is proportional to sine theta. So if you have 2n, you have 2 sine theta. If you have 3n, 3 times of the first one, which is just n, then you have 3 sine theta. Okay, get the idea? So they'll increase linearly. Uh, at the same ratio. So, if you look at this one, B and C, oh, I think C is the best case because you increase N, say this one, okay, N to 2, your angle kind of increase by the same 2 times larger. So here is theta, here is 2 times theta, lo. the whole thing here. Okay, so this is generally correct. This one, I think it's backwards it should the angle should be getting bigger as you go out the reason being if you look at the sine curve sine theta yeah so sine theta against theta sine graph looks like this right okay i keep drawing now but you can only go until 90 degrees that's the maximum you can go for your angles all right so let's say i start off with some angle here okay that is where my n equals 1 is and then n equals 2 I have to be 2 times larger so I come over here okay so what's happening is here I will have some theta but then if I increase from n0 to n1 the gap is getting bigger and bigger so the first increase is small as you get bigger it should be bigger lah okay if you go to n equals 3 okay there may be other space here but the idea is this is not a straight line graph if this is a straight line graph, then no matter what angle you change, it should be linear. Lah. 
This one increase one time, so angle increase one time. Sine increase two times and angle increase two times. But this one is curved, so as you go along, your angles will get bigger and bigger. The gaps between your thetas. But in this case, this one is in the wrong shape, like wrong, wrong trend of theta. So you should get your angles should get bigger and bigger as you go further out. So this is not quite correct. Bam. Uh, C. You say the angles should get bigger and bigger, right? But why all same? Man? Hmm. So you can think of this when your angle is kind of small, your sine is almost straight, lah. Okay. The sine curve here is almost straight, like then it starts to curve. Draw a better sine curve. Yeah. So if you are staying in this part, the very beginning of this sine curve, it's almost straight. So they're almost the same. My eyes can't really tell if they're looking big. I think they look a bit bigger, but I can't really tell. So this one almost the same, then okay lah. This one is the best choice. Although B, the angles are different, but it's in the wrong trend. The angles should be getting bigger as you uh, go up your orders. Okay, but if you assume the angles are pretty small, then they should be roughly the same. So between B and C, wow, close fight. C is the best choice for this case. 